ladies and gentlemen. And I knew it was coming. Ah, <laughs> he can sense it now. This is your quarterback's tiers and rankings. We've been saying it a lot, but we're going to say it again. Our app, which is a how-to interactive guide for fantasy football for all levels. We're submitting it early July, mid-July. Hoping to have it up well before the season. It's awesome. <laughs> it really is. There'll be a link Read to through it. through it, you're going to know how to do everything. Link to it on the homepage when it's up on our site. And also remember, we're shooting this in early July. so It's going to be worth the money alone because you will get trades done in your league. And I guarantee you most of you never get it done because people are idiots out it there. Helps. This helps get by the idiots. Tier I'm one. starting, I'm sorry. Guys. Tier one. Peyton Manning. He's going to regress this year probably. When Tom Brady threw 50 touchdowns, he took a step back. So Peyton probably won't throw for 55, but he could easily throw for 50 touchdowns. He could throw for 45 and still be the number one quarterback. So he's the only guy, if you're going to get a quarterback to go early, he's the only one should be. He's a beast. Peyton Manning. Tier two. Still solid options here. You got Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees. You know, Rodgers should have no problem coming back and being 100%. It was a broken bone. It wasn't anything crazy, ligament or any of that type of stuff. And Drew Brees is Drew Brees. So these guys, you know, definitely tier two. <clears throat> All right, tier three, we had a little bit of a fight. Shocker, me and Dustin arguing about Cam Newton. Dustin won. Almost rushed for 600 yards and six rushing touchdowns. That equates so much in the fantasy game if you were to take that into passing Almost yards. 1,800 passing yards. Yeah, so that alone, he wins on his stupid math. Stupid math. And he's going to get the rushing touchdown because he's a monster. Unlike this other guy, Robert Griffin III, I don't think he gets any rushing touchdowns. I do think he rushes for more yards. We're banking on him to have a big bounce back year. A lot of turmoil in Washington. He hated the Shanahan's. There's all kinds of weird drama. The stupid brace. And their defense is all awful, awful, awful. So he's going to be high scoring games, a lot of weapons, like RG3 to bounce back. Nick Foles, first guy I want to talk about in tier four. <laughs> Amazing year for him Ridiculous. last year. I mean, the, you know, the number that the numbers everyone looks at that's most impressive is 27 touchdowns and two interceptions. That is unbelievable. He still has a decent amount of weapons out there, even with Deshaun Jackson gone. He has Sproles now. I mean, that that is not getting talked about enough, I feel, as far as how he could help change that offense. We like Nick Foles. Matt Ryan's the next guy. You know, hopefully he can get Roddy, back, Roddy White back to 100% and have that Julio Jones, Roddy White. You know, 4,500 passing yards from him last year. Good, safe pick at quarterback. God, I forgot. That's no Roddy pissed me off last year. <laughs> Every week he was supposed to come back. All right, as we go into, I forgot about that. Hurts. Tier 5. First guy I'm talking about is Jay Cutler. Now, we got him ranked here because in 11 games, he threw 12 picks, tends to throw a lot, but then the old advanced metrics kind of stuff, if you put Cutler and what McCall did, Cowan did, they would have been the third ranked fantasy quarterback last year. The only reason I'm bringing that up is, there's a ton of weapons out there with Marshall, Jeffrey, Forte, who we all love, so stuff out there, and then, Johnny Football. Football! <laughs> Johnny Style. You know, they're going to be awful. He's going to run around. He looks like a selfish dude, or at least that's what the reports say. So me and Dustin were talking, you know what? He's going to get his. He's going to run a lot. He's going to throw a lot. And I just hope he survives the NFL. Even if he goes get hit a lot. for 3,000 yards, but rushes for 800. It's solid value right there. Tier 6, Andy Dalton. Just keeps getting better. 4,300 yards. Why not every chance you get? Why, why shouldn't I talk about Andy Dalton? He's one of the most exciting guys in Tier 6. He just keeps getting better. One little sneaky thing too, almost 200 rushing yards from him. You don't really necessarily think about him as a rushing quarterback, but he does throw those in. You know, 33 touchdowns, great weapons. We love Andy Dalton, I love Andy Dalton. Ryan Tannenhill is another guy that I wanted to talk about. Miami's starting to turn into a, a decent offense. You know, the, the addition of Moreno, you know, we're not necessarily expecting Moreno to do anything amazing, but having a veteran there, you know, help um, you know Lamar Miller get going. He's got two solid receivers, and another thing with Tannehill, he rushed for over 200 yards as, as well. So you get a little bump there. We actually don't mind Tannehill. All right, in tier seven, talking about one guy, probably the most disrespected guy that's thrown for over 4,000 yards, ranked down to number 20. What is that for? 2, 21, 22. 22. Either way, it's Carson Palmer. He threw for over 4,000 uh, 4, yards, like I said, but. 24 touchdowns to 22 picks. The guy just chucks it up, hopes they catch it. Sometimes they do, sometimes the other team does. So he's a two quarterback league, deep, deep option, obviously, and one quarterback United Football. And then the last tier, gotta talk about the Jets situation out there with Vic and Geno Smith. 
We'll see what happens with that. I mean, there is some upside there with who wins the job, but it's just, you know, nothing too crazy. But, you know, who knows what Vic will come out if Vic ends up getting the job. And Gino could take a step to the next level. And then Ryan Fitzpatrick is a person I want to talk about as well. New home with Houston. He has weapons out there. Pretty good weapons. Andre Johnson, you know, he's got Foster to dump it down to. He's not that terrible of a fantasy quarterback. He's not that great of a real quarterback, but you know, he runs a decent amount and he's not afraid to try to throw the ball in spots he shouldn't try to throw it into. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but Fitzpatrick is a guy to not necessarily ignore. Can you throw it again? Yep, it's quarterback show. It's quarterback show, that's, that's true. See? <laughs> that was close. You're gonna have to keep that silly dance, and I'm so excited about that. <laughs> what are you doing? That's blocking. <laughs> blocking it. Bye, guys.